Hello, my name is Keshmani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshmani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manual for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 255. Please turn to it. Page number 255 and today is our lesson number 62. We are in the process of solving the problem from the practice, pra practice exam, practice test number 1. We have already solved all the exercises, all the math problems that are given in exercises on page 50 through 110. We did, to, we did those problems already on day 1 through 60. Number 4 is what we are going to do. Problem 1, 2 and 3 we did yesterday. Problem number 4 is what we are about to do. It says a legal assistant works at a local law firm and earns $12.78 per pay period. Alright, so he earns $12.78 per pay period. We are told that the deduction per pay period, we are told that the deduction per pay period are as follows. The federal tax we are told is in the amount of 125.78. 125.78. Federal insurance we are told is in the amount of 63.28. State tax we are told is in the amount of 93.68. The retirement, we are told, retirement due is, is, is even $50. And finally, health insurance, health insurance, we are told is $89.51. Well, what are we going to do with these numbers? The question is, are we going to sit there and add them all up like a good schoolboy or a good schoolgirl, wasting our time, adding up, counting all the pennies and nickels and dimes? The answer is no. We're going to round things. Okay? You don't have time. Uh, don't go through that aggravation. Just round things. 125.78. We're going to pretend it is 126 dollars. Federal insurance, we are told, is 63.28. I'm going to pretend it is 63 dollars even. The state tax is 93.68. We're going to round it up to 94 dollars. Retirement, we are told, is 50 dollars even. And health insurance, we are told, is 89.51, which we're going to round to 90 dollars even. And that's it. We're just simply going to add them up. And see what happens. And see what happens. So we have we have a four and a six. That's ten. Ten plus three is thirteen. Three. Carry one. Always carry whatever it is that you're going to carry. Always make sure you write it down. Otherwise, there is a chance that you might forget it. So one plus two is three. Three plus six is nine. Nine plus nine is eighteen. Eighteen plus nine is twenty-seven. Because I know nine threes are twenty-seven or three nines are twenty-seven. This is what I'm saying. Nine. Nine threes, nine threes are twenty-seven. Or if you like, three nines are twenty-seven. That's what that's what I just said. So I'm adding up all the nines first. One more time, you see, one plus two is three. Three plus six is nine. So that's one nine. Nine plus nine is eighteen. Eighteen plus nine is twenty-seven. Twenty-seven plus five. We know twenty-seven plus three is thirty. So it should be thirty-two. Two carry three. And that's four. That's it. Those are the total deduction. That's it. We're almost done. All we have to do is take her salary that she gets uh, per two period per period and subtract the deductions. That's all. Twelve seventy eight minus three four hundred and twenty three. Eight minus three is five. Five seven minus two is five, and twelve minus four is eight. Looks like the take home amount is going to be eight hundred and fifty five dollars. Now we look at the answer choices and we are looking for one answer choice that comes closest to 855 because we were, we were rounding things. And as you can see there is only one answer choice that, uh, that comes closest to 855 which is C. The other one is 997, 442, uh, 422, 216. It would have been a sheer waste of time to add up all the pennies. Do you understand? 
we do that, we do the precise calculation only we have to, only when we absolutely have to, only when we find that the answer choices are too close to each other. When, when the occasion arises, I will tell you how to do that part. You understand? Even in that situation, we don't actually sit down and add them all up. When the time comes, I'll show you what to do. You understand? What we do is adjustment. Here, we didn't have to do any adjustment. But as I said, when the occasion arises, I'll tell you how we'll, we'll see how to do the adjustment to our final answer. Anyway, this is the answer, 423. So taken from taken away from 1278, leaving us with 855. Let's do the next one, number five. The very last one on the page. Number five. It says a fence is being built to enclose a backyard. All right. The yard is 150 feet by 325 feet. All right. The yard we are told is 150 feet by 325 feet by 300 and. 25 feet. So that's our that's our yard that we want to enclose with a fence and I think they're going to go on to tell us how much it costs per foot and we simply have to figure out the cost of putting a fence around. That's all. So let's, let's read the rest. Okay. I'm reading the problem from the book. It is important that you have the book in front of you. Do not depend on my reading the problem to you. I'm not the one who likes to shock people, but I do have an accent. Understand? A fence is being built to enclose a backyard. The yard is 150 feet by 325 feet. The back of the house, 325 feet that is, will act as one of the sides of the fence. All right, so we don't have to, apparently we don't have to fence one side, which is this side here. This is the back of the house. So we don't have to fence that part, that's not 125 feet, that's just the house. That's an edge, oh Jesus. That's our house, but that makes life easy. So that's very straightforward, it's 150 plus 150, that's 300 feet, plus 325 feet, so we have to, we have to enclose 625 feet, and how much does it cost per yard, per foot? The fencing sells for $13 a foot, all right, so it sells thirteen dollars per foot and the question is how much is the cost that's all it is now listen if you like if you like you could actually sit there and do it out uh, manually however 13 uh, and so on and so forth I'm not going to do that look it's 625 times 13 is what we have to do we know that 625 if you were to stick a zero on the, uh, next to it that will represent six times in other words 10 625s are you see how, how we speak 10, 625s are 6,250, or if you like, 625 tens are 6,250, but we are not interested in 625 tens, we are interested in 10, 625. So that takes care of 10 of those. We have three more to go. We have to go three more to go, three more, 625, three times 600 I know is 1,800, and 325s are 75. So 1,875. That's it. Again, this 1875 comes from the fact that 3 times 600 is 1800 and 3 times 25 is 75. Just add them up. That's all. 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. 2. Carry 1. 2 plus 8 is 10. Plus 1 is 11. Carry 1. And 8. Voila. That's your answer. $8,125 is what this guy would have to spend in order for him to have the fence that he desires. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.